The Paris 2024 Olympics were nothing short of electric, with the world's greatest athletes coming together to showcase their talents on one of the grandest stages. Among them, Simone Biles shone brighter than ever, proving once again why she's considered the greatest gymnast of all time. Simone's performance in the women's vault final was nothing short of breathtaking. She executed her routines with the precision and grace that have become her trademark, leaving the audience in awe. The arena erupted in cheers as she nailed her landing, securing yet another gold medal, her seventh Olympic gold and 10th Olympic medal overall. This victory wasn't just about adding another medal to her collection, it was a statement. Simone Biles was back, stronger and more determined than ever. The anticipation around her next moves was palpable, with everyone wondering if she would continue competing or if this would be her final Olympic appearance. But as the celebration of her victory continued, the media's focus quickly shifted from her accomplishments to what was next for her. Simone, like many athletes, found herself under the microscope, with journalists eager to know her future plans. The pressure to provide answers about her next steps just moments after achieving something so monumental became a focal point of the post-competition conversation. After her stunning win in the vault final, Simone Biles was approached by a reporter who asked the question that many athletes dread, what's next for you after this? It's a common question in sports journalism, one that often seems innocent enough but can carry a heavy burden for the athlete being asked. The question assumes that there is always a next, another competition, another goal, without giving the athlete time to fully absorb and celebrate their current achievement. For Simone, this question came at a moment when she was still basking in the glory of her hard-earned victory. She had just overcome immense pressure and personal challenges to stand on the top of the podium once again. The reporter's question, though routine, seemed to disregard the significance of her accomplishment and the emotional and physical toll it had taken on her. Simone's reaction was immediate and honest. She expressed her frustration, pointing out that athletes should be allowed to enjoy their success in the moment without immediately being pressed about their future. The game final is always the most stressful, um, but usually we have like music or background noise, whatever that may be. Simone Biles didn't hold back when the reporter asked her about her future plans right after her gold medal win. Instead of giving the usual vague response that many athletes might offer, she decided to address the issue head on. With a calm but firm demeanor, Simone made it clear that she was tired of the constant pressure to immediately answer what's next. She emphasized that athletes deserve the chance to soak up the moment and fully enjoy their achievements without being rushed into thinking about the future. It was a powerful statement, not just for herself, but for athletes everywhere who often feel overwhelmed by the expectations placed on them. Simone didn't stop there. She took to social media to further drive home her point. On Twitter, she called out the media's tendency to push athletes for answers about their next steps right after a win. Her tweet, you guys really gotta stop asking athletes what's next after they win a medal at the Olympics, resonated with many. It was a call for change, a demand for the media to recognize that athletes are human beings who need time to celebrate and reflect on their accomplishments. In true Simone Biles fashion, she also added a touch of humor to the situation. When a fan asked her what her next step was after winning gold, Simone replied with a witty, babysitting the medal. It was the perfect way to lighten the mood while still making her point. Her ability to address a serious issue with both grace and a bit of humor showed just how comfortable and confident she has become in speaking her mind, both in the gym and out in the world. Simone's response didn't just make headlines, it sparked a wave of reactions across social media, the press, and among her fellow athletes. The public immediately rallied behind her, with many fans expressing their support for her candid stance. People admired her for standing up for herself and other athletes, calling her a role model, not just for her athletic prowess, but for her courage to speak out against unfair treatment. The media, too, couldn't ignore the impact of her words. Simone's comments ignited a broader conversation about how the media interacts with athletes, 
especially in moments of intense emotion. Journalists and commentators began to reflect on whether they were contributing to the pressure athletes face by constantly pushing for answers about the future. Some media outlets even issued statements acknowledging the validity of Simone's concerns and promised to be more mindful in their questioning. Photo flickers, whatever that was, and so you know you're trying to stay in your zone, and then people start cheering, and then the shushing gets louder, so really they should be shushed because they're louder. Fellow athletes also chimed in, many of whom have faced similar pressures in their careers. They praised Simone for using her platform to advocate for change, highlighting how her words gave voice to something they had long felt, but perhaps didn't have the courage to express. For example, one well-known athlete tweeted, Simone Biles just said what we've all been thinking. It's time to let us enjoy our victories without immediately asking us to plan our next move. Experts in sports psychology also weighed in, supporting Simone's stance and emphasizing the importance of mental health in athletics. They pointed out that the constant pressure to perform and plan for the future can lead to burnout and anxiety, which is why Simone's call to let athletes enjoy the moment is not only reasonable, but necessary. Her decision to prioritize her mental health over competing sparked widespread discussion and earned her praise from around the globe. Simone was no longer just a champion in gymnastics. She became a champion for mental health, especially in the high-pressure world of sports. She opened up about her struggles with anxiety and the immense pressure she felt to always be perfect. By sharing her story, Simone helped to break down the stigma surrounding mental health and encouraged other athletes to speak out about their own challenges. The incident at the Paris 2024 Olympics, where she responded to a reporter's probing question about her future, only solidified her position as a leading voice in this ongoing conversation. Simone's blunt response wasn't just about demanding respect for herself. It was a continuation of her advocacy for mental health. She was reminding everyone that athletes, no matter how successful, need space to breathe, to reflect, and to enjoy their achievements without the constant pressure to do more. Her actions at the Paris Olympics showed that her commitment to mental well-being is unwavering and that she will continue to use her platform to bring awareness to this critical issue. Simone has been consistent in her efforts to highlight the importance of mental health in sports. She's spoken at length about the need for better support systems for athletes, including access to mental health professionals. She's also been a role model for younger athletes, showing them that it's okay to ask for help and that taking care of your mind is just as important as taking care of your body. Through interviews, social media, and public appearances, Simone has made it clear that her advocacy is here to stay and she's determined to create a sports culture where mental well-being is a top priority. It's what's so exciting because you just never know with gymnastics. So I'm not, I'm not very, very upset or anything about my performance at the Olympics. I'm actually very happy. Simone Biles' pointed criticism of the media at the Paris Olympics didn't go unnoticed. In fact, it sparked quite a bit of reflection within journalistic circles. Many reporters and media outlets began to reconsider how they approach interviews with athletes, especially in moments of triumph or defeat. Simone's comments highlighted the often overlooked fact that athletes are human beings first and that their mental and emotional states should be respected, particularly in high-pressure situations like the Olympics. In the days following her remarks, there was a noticeable shift in how the media interacted with athletes. Some journalists expressed their understanding and even apologized publicly for any past insensitivity. Others used their platforms to discuss the pressures that athletes face and why it's important to allow them to savor their victories without immediately being pressed about the future. There was a sense that Simone had given the media a much needed wake up call, prompting them to be more mindful of the questions they ask and the timing of those questions. This incident also led to broader discussions within the media industry about the ethical responsibilities of sports journalists. Some outlets issued statements acknowledging the need for a more compassionate approach when dealing with athletes, particularly those who have just completed significant events. A few even revisited their interview protocols, with some reporters pledging to avoid asking questions about future plans immediately after an athlete's victory giving them time to fully experience the moment. 
While the media's response was largely positive, it wasn't universal. There were still some voices who defended the traditional approach, arguing that asking about the future is a natural part of sports journalism. However, the overall trend seemed to lean towards a greater understanding of the pressures that athletes face and a willingness to adapt to ensure that their mental health is not compromised in the pursuit of a good story. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.